Last time in our uh, lecture, we discussed about uh, what is cell, structure of cell, shape of cell, composition of cell, which organelles usually cell have. So in, the, in that lecture, we discussed that uh, cell has cell wall and cell membrane. Plant cell has cell wall, however, animal cell has only cell membrane. So today we will uh, explore about what is cell wall in actual. The plant cell wall was, was first observed and named simply as wall by Robert Hooke in 1665. However, uh, Professor Call and Link in 1805 just proved that cell have independent cell walls. Every cell has independent cell wall. Because uh, as you guys know that plant cell has, every plant cell has independent cell wall. A cell wall is a structured layer that surrounds some types of cells created outside the cell wall in plant cells. It can be flexible, rigid, and tough that provides a specific support to the cell and also give protection to the cell from other injuries or harmful effects. Typical components of plant cell that fixes the size and shape of mature plant cells is the typical component of plant cell that uh, helps the plant cell to be mature. And uh, the mature cell wall has expanded cell wall as compared to immature cell wall. The kind of cell wall present determines the texture of a specific cell. Specific properties a cell wall has, the, uh, the basic properties a uh, cell wall has is inflation, hydraulic turgor pressure, and tensile strength. That just gives rigidity to the cell wall and just hold the cell and the contents of the cell. And as you guys know that, uh, Cell wall and cell membrane are permeability, has permeability that uh, some products, ions, or drugs or molecules can move from outside of the cell membrane or cell wall to in or inside to the outside. So, primary cell wall is of about 30 to 60 kilodalton, has carbon dioxide and water as above plastic flow, and has a specific pH. So here we have a, a basic structure of a cell wall. It has three basic layers. That is primary cell wall. You can see from here this to here. This is primary cell wall. Then has plasma cell wall, and this is called middle lamella. So plant. This is the structure of plant cell wall. Uh, the primary cell wall has pectin cross-linking glycans that is showed here in the green color and cellulose fibers. Uh, micro, uh, microfibers, microfibrils that helps to give support to the cell wall, to specific shape to the cell wall. So cell wall uh, has a specific thickness, uh, depends on the age of the cell and the type of the cell, that which type of cell it is or how mature and old the cell is. Young cells have thinner cell walls than the fully developed ones. The cell wall is, complex, is, is a complex in its structure and usually consists of three layers as we uh, saw in previous fig uh, figure that primary cell wall that has one layer only then intracellular substances that is also known as middle lamella and have primary wall of two adjacent cells and secondary cell wall that is made up of one or many layers usually three types of layers are in secondary cell wall so cell wall layers uh, there are different types of cell wall layers as we discussed in previous slide Cell wall thickness is uh, 0 0.1 micrometer to several micrometer depends on the size and type of the cell wall and the age of the cell, sorry. Uh, depends on the age type of the cell, not the cell wall. So primary cell wall is thin, flexible and extensible and contains pectin, hemicellulose and cell, uh, cellulose as we saw in previous figure and permeable having a size of 30 to 60 kilometer. However, in comparison with primary cell wall, secondary cell wall is thick, present inside to the primary cell wall and contains lign uh, lignin for giving strength and density to the wood as plant cells just uh, make the wood and also has cellulose fibers. So middle lamella, that is the outermost layer between adjacent plant cells, that is the two different plant cells Two plant cells, the, the adjacent layer is known as outermost, the adjacent layer is known as middle lamella that has pectins and gives stability to the cell. So 
so here we have two figures different that can explain what it is in actual so here we have three cells three plant cells one two and three and the uh, layer here in between two cells this is known as middle lamella it is made up of calcium and magnesium pectates so here we have primary cell wall this one green one then we have in a dark brown or purple color secondary cell wall then we have plasma cell wall however the middle lamella is the uh, mid, uh, is in between two adjacent cell walls there is a layer in between two adjacent cell wall is known as middle lamella so what is the composition of uh, primary cell wall there are th uh, three major polysaccharides present in primary cell wall first one is uh, cellulose that is one to four linkage long unbranched linear chain of glucose with crystalline properties because of arrangement or specific arrangement of the cellulose also found uh, in the form of microfibrils that are bundles of about 30 thread like cellulose molecule 10 to 25 nanometer in diameter orderly arranged in parallel arrays forming an extended three dimensional lattice characteristics of crystal is known as missiles so macro fibrils is present in secondary cell walls so here we have uh, a sketch of uh, figure in, in, here we have a, a figure of primary cell wall so we can see that this is a tree if you can suppose this is a tree then you have a slice this slice you just cut this slice and analyze this is the middle lamella as we saw in here that the in a layer in between two adjacent plant uh, uh, cells this is middle lamella after that we have primary wall this is three layered secondary wall and then you have this small piece or chunk from figure b and you just analyze it as a macrofibrils this is macrofibrils then a small piece of macrofibril uh, macrofibrils were analyzed and we just have a look to the microfibrils here and these microfibrils has cellulose molecules, uh, micellus, as we discussed in last slide. And then this is the structure of in actual, uh, here we have micellus, and is, these are the structures of cellular, mem uh, cellular molecules. And this is the one molecule in actual, you can see. So uh, this figure just explain the uh, chunks of primary cell wall from tree to middle lamella and then macrofibrils and microfibril cellulose molecules. Primary cell wall has uh, hemicellulose, as we discussed earlier, that there are three basic components. So first one we discussed, then we have hemicellulose, highly branched long chains of glucose, microfibrils are coated with the fibrous hemicellulose, hydrogen bonds with the cellulose are present there, and uh, xyloglycan is also there as a chemically bonded to an other hemi hemi hemicellulose that serves as a close cross link between pectin molecules. So in this figure, we can uh, understand, we, we will try to understand this. Like here is the structured protein, structural proteins, and this is the cellulose microfibrils. This is hemicellulose and pectin. So this just give a specific shape to the cell wall. And the last uh, comp uh, component is pectin. As we uh, saw in previous figures that pectin is also there with microfibrils and hemicellulose. So cellulose and hemicellulose embedded in uh, primary cell wall forms a separate network that interdigitates digitates with the cellulose hemicellulose network. So that specific, it is interdigitates means to interconnect with each other, embedded with each other, to form a specific network with the help of cellulose and hemicellulose network to give a specific shape and protection and support to the cell wall. So middle lamella is composed of pectin glue cells together. And uh, it is, these are hydrophilic, as you guys know that uh, hydrophilics are water loving. However, hydrophobics are water hating molecules and holds up to 65% of water in primary cell wall that uh, just give a specific cell adhesion function and regulate the porosity of the cell wall. So in the formation of uh, middle lamella, uh, first formed from cell plate during cytokines, in our previous lecture, we just have a detailed look to what is cytokines. Uh, cytokines in actual, as you remember, that uh, when the cell membrane or cell wall just, uh, uh, when is one cell just divided into two and a new cell wall or cell membrane generated. At that step, this is known as cytokines. So primary cell wall composed of cellulose fibrils produced at plasma membrane by cellulose synthesis complex. 
microfibrils held by hydrogen bond and give a specific strength to the cell wall. Secondary cell wall constructed between plasma membrane and primary membrane. However, plasmodesmata interconnecting channels of cytoplasm that connect protoplast with each other to make to give some support. So, in eukaryotic cell walls, we have polysaccharides that is also that are uh, tightened polymers as uh, cellulose. Titan and cellulose just joined by beta one fold linkage to give support and to survive. So here we have some examples of fungal cell wall, algae water mold, slime mold. Fungal cell wall consists of chitin and polysaccharides, and matrix of three components of chitin, glucans, and proteins are the part, or you can say the components of eukaryotic cell wall. So algal cell wall consists of cellulose and glycoproteins. So almost all cell walls has cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin, uh, these types of uh, compounds just to give strength and support and protection to the cell wall. So here we have some components for algal cell wall, including menans, xylans, algenic acid, etc., and polysaccharides also. Water moles consists of uh, cellulose that has a uh, four to twenty percent and like and glucans. Slime molds composed of cellulose. In short, again we have cellulose, hemicellulose, and these types of components for specific for the for the formation of cell wall to give protection to the cell, to give specific shape to the cell, to give support to the cell. So here we have a bacterial cell wall. Uh, two most famous bacteria are gram positive and gram negative. So here we have bacterial cell wall. Uh, this is the structure of bacteria that has a capsule, as you know, then genetic material. And uh, uh, ribosomes are embedded in the plasma. We have pili here, ribosome, plasmids, cytoplasm, plasma membrane. So here we have the cell wall in yellow color in bacterial cell wall. So in gram-negative bacterial bacteria cell wall, first we have outer membrane, then cell wall, then cell wall leads to plasma membrane and cytosol. However, in gram-positive, first we have cell wall, then plasma membrane and cytosol. We don't have outer membrane in gram positive. However, in gram negative, we have a bi lipid bilayer of gram uh, of outer membrane. You can see here. However, the cell wall is very thin here. In gram positive bacteria cell wall, there is a thick cell wall here, and then we have same plasma membrane and cytosol. Prokaryotic cell walls, bacteria cell wall, major component is peptidoglycans to make it strong shell. Gram-negative bacteria has thin cell wall, however, gram-positive bacteria has thick cell wall. We already discussed about that. Archaeal bacteria wall lacks peptidoglycans, composed of pseudopeptidoglycans, sulfated polysaccharides, and glycoproteins. So what is the function? As we discussed a lot in this lecture, that the basic, the basic function of cell wall is to give rigidity, strength, protection, support, specific barrier to the plant cell to prevent cell swelling and bursting as a result of osmotic pressure to promote cell to cell signaling through their cell walls. Mechanical functions uh, include the uh, cell to give a specific skeleton, specific shape or specific size, determines the limits of expansion and water uptake of the cell. And metabolic activity includes the living part of the cell, receives specific signals from different hormones or different uh, other uh, cells for cell cell interaction. Uh, the biochemical responses include nourishment permission, absorption, or secretion through cell rhizoids. So that uh, we discussed about uh, cell wall, what actual cell wall is. And uh, cell wall is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, there is pectin we have, it gives protection to the cell wall, support to the cell wall. And there are three layers of cell walls middle, the middle, primary cell walls, secondary cell wall. Then we have, we just have a look to the bacterial cell wall, algal cell wall. So that was in actual about the cell wall. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining.